Okay, hi everyone. Um, it's uh, back here again at uh, Monroe Live, and um, we've had an awful lot of people asking us about the octo valve and the um, and basically the whole cooling system and how does it work and things like that. One of the things that keeps coming up is how do you know what this thing does? How do you know how it works? And as you can see, we didn't chop this up. Uh, what we did was we used our friends over at Kinetic Vision. And Kinetic Vision performed for us um, a CT scan. CT stands for uh, computed tomography. And what that does is uh, it, you've probably seen this on medical devices and stuff like that on TV shows. And what it does is it takes little teeny slices all the way through. And what I'd like to do is show you what you can do with Kinetic Vision. And I, I think you'll be very impressed as to how this thing works. So let me show you the video. So here we see the octo valve and it's being spun around. Everybody can do that. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna be watching while the materials are washed away to show what the, the feature paths are. The paths that the uh, coolant is being flowed through to the different valves as they're being shifted. Now, as you're watching, I want you to take a look at that uh, right hand screen and you can see that there's a green line that keeps going through the octo valve as that's going through what you're seeing on the left is what's actually inside the product so it's kind of like uh, an x-ray machine um, with sections at a time and that's how the uh, the CT scan is created now you'll also notice that there's different colors blue yellow and green and the red of course that's to help us know which path the fluid can take once it gets inside and the inside what you're looking at there is the valve itself so as the valve shifts or turns you'll see where the fluid from the purple the blue the green and the red where it's going how it's being uh, uh, manipulated if you like inside the octo valve it's possible to show all the different positions this will help us in, uh, understand what's going on inside how does this thing work and that's what you're looking at right now, how it's clocking, going through the different clocking operations to make sure that we understand which valve is opening and closing, which ports are going to be utilized. And this is very, very important for anybody that's looking at trying to figure out how to, uh, to design a product um, that's as complicated and yet compact as what the octo valve is. This is the controlling function for pretty much the whole heating and cooling system. So now you can see different, uh, different segments. You can see how the channels go into the different ports. If you're an engineer, um, especially if you're a fluids dynamic engineer, this stuff's invaluable. And like I said, we've gone uh, a long ways with, uh, with kinetic vision. And uh, I just wanted to show you a little bit about what it is that kinetic vision can do for you and how we actually got to the point where we created this report and all of the different slices that are inside the octo valve. So kinetic vision is, is our partner. I, I think that if you've got stuff that you need to have a uh, scan, CT scanned, we highly recommend kinetic vision. Thanks so much and have a great day.